Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you four common audio issues and how to fix them with my noise reduction presets. So here we are with my noise reduction presets, four tracks that will fix most audio issues you'll come across. If you're a podcaster, I highly suggest you look into my pro podcast presets as all of these tracks are included inside that. But if you simply need to fix audio, let me show you how these work. First of all, when you're recording, you're in a less than perfect room, you often get room noise, just background whirs and hums, could be air conditioning, could be a fan, could be road noise, it just could be anything. Let's listen to this reasonable sounding podcast host. All right, five, four, three, two, one. So as you can hear, nothing really wrong with that audio, just the fact that there's a bit of background noise and you can see that on the levels meter as I play the intro. There it is. Okay. When we drag it into the fix background noise track over here, this is what happens. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. So as you can hear, fixed audio sounds much better. Let's remind how it sounded before. All right, five, four, three, two, one. And now let's listen to after. All right, five, four, three, two, one. So there you go. That's the first issue you can come across. Often it's echo in a room that doesn't have sound treatment. There's something bouncing off the walls. You're speaking and you're hearing your voice coming back and reflecting uh, from the walls into the microphone again. Uh, something like this. Focused on creating products. So as you can hear, that speaker is in a really echoey room. The echo is bouncing back into the mic and you're getting focused on creating products. Well, here we have a fix echo issues track and you simply drag the audio in. Don't need to do anything else. And you get something that sounds like this. Focused on creating products. So as you can hear, a lot closer to the microphone, even though nothing's changed, it's the same recording, uh, yet it's very, very easy to do. This is before. Focused on creating products. And after. Focused on creating products. So the voice overall is just a lot cleaner, crisper, easier to hear, and of course that echo has been reduced. We can't always eliminate it completely, but the Fix Echo Issues track will certainly help you with that. Now, this is something that, funnily enough, has happened to me in the past. I've recorded something amazing, and then I realized I had my internal mic selected. <laughs> you just want to bang your head, don't you? Uh, but you really want to use it? You have to use it? Okay, we've got a fix internal mic track here included in the presets. Let's listen to before. I'm going to cringe. This is terrible audio recorded on my internal microphone. Not the best. And of course, if we go into the waveform view and look at spectral frequency, let's really zoom up on that. Uh, you can see all of this here is background noise picked up by our internal mic. This here is all the speech. That waveform is also representing the speech just up here. Uh, and then we've got noise in the background again. Now, to show you this in detail, first of all, we'll listen to how it sounds afterwards. This is terrible audio recorded on my internal microphone. Okay, so it's better than before. This is terrible audio recorded on my internal microphone. That's before, this is after. This is terrible audio recorded on my internal microphone. Okay, the background noise has virtually been eliminated. The uh, internal mic at least sounds a bit beefier, a little punchier, a little better. But what I really wanted to show you is I wanted to grab just this section. I wanted to mix it down to a waveform view. So let's mix down the time selection. And I want you to look at spectral frequency and notice this and this. No noise where there is no speech, which is what we want. So that's one big thing the Fix Internal Mic Track does. Let's remind how it looked before, and you can see all the noise is there and intact, and the waveform a little quieter and just harder to hear. So yes, you can, to a certain extent, fix the sound of a computer's internal microphone. And finally, we'll go on to this one, and it's something that often happens in a house where it's needed. You've got fans going off, and it can sound a bit like this. And I am recording as well, and it looks like it is working. Well, it is working, apart from the fact there's a huge fan, whether that's a, a fan in your room or the computer's fan whirring away. Uh, well, there's a fix fan noise track for that. And let's listen to exactly what it's doing. And I am recording as well, and it looks like it is working. It is working, and it's working a lot better. Uh, so again, before. And I am recording as well, and it looks like it is working. And then skip to after. And I am recording as well, and it looks like it is working. 
Again, we'll just go in, we'll have a quick look, and there's all the fan noise. My goodness, that's crazy noise happening there. And of course, we can take this, mix down this little section, and have a look at exactly what that preset track is doing. And funnily enough, now in spectral frequency, a lot less of the fan noise. Still a little bit of ambient noise there, but generally greatly reduced and sounding better. So remember, with the new noise reduction presets, you can do many things, including fix echo issues, fix background noises, fix fan noises, and even fix and enhance the sound of a computer's internal microphone. 